Hi princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about my new skincare favourites and flops. So I decided not to do dedicated skincare reviews this year and instead I was going to trial either doing like a skincare routine or videos like this where I talk about my new skincare products. The problem with doing skincare routines is that I tend to stay pretty stable with the products that I enjoy and they do get really repetitive um, and I wouldn't show something that I didn't like because I wouldn't keep it in my skincare routine if I didn't really 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 like it. So I thought this style of video would be good to show you some of the skincare that I have been enjoying but I haven't showed in a routine and some of the skincare that I haven't really been enjoying but also haven't reviewed previously. So I won't be showing anything that you guys have already seen reviews on so old holy grails and favorites that are still in my skincare collection so like um, rose cleansing stick, actually I probably should show that it's kind of new. The Clear Supple Preparation Toner, the I'm From Ginseng Serum, the Vanilla Co Honey Mask, things like that you have already seen. You already know that I love them, I don't need to bang the point home. We already know this. So this video is going to contain some of my favourite products that I have found and some of my mess and some of the flops because Skincare doesn't work the same for everybody. There is not one product in this world that you could give to everybody on planet Earth and have it work miracles for them. Doesn't matter if it costs $5, doesn't matter if it costs $500, the same thing is not going to work. So just because I say something is my favourite does not automatically mean that it is going to be your favourite. Just because something flopped for me doesn't automatically mean it's going to flop for you either. So I'm going to be starting with my favourites and there's actually only one of them because a lot of the products fell into the meh category this time. So my favourite is actually from Purito. It is the Centella Green Level Buffet Serum. I've been using this for about three weeks now I would say and I really really enjoy it. It's a moisturizing serum and that's pretty much all it does for my skin, but it does a really good job. It is really lightweight and because it is summer here, it's super hot, you can see me starting to sweat. This is a really great product because it's not heavy feeling, it's a really nice thin gel that is really easy for my skin to absorb so it means that I can go into the next step nice and quickly without my skin feeling really heavy or feeling like it's being suffocated basically. It also smells really really delicious, it's kind of like a lavender scent and something else. And I really, really enjoy it. And I have no idea where I have smelt it before, but it has been one of my skincare ingredients, or it's been the same scent in one of my other skincare products. And I have loved the smell of it, which definitely does help me in the fact of it being a favorite. If I enjoy the smell of something when I'm putting it on my skin, it automatically puts me in a good mood. Of course, the serum still has to do something, and it does, it moisturizes my skin. Um, but, you know, a lot of the happiness does come from the scent. <laughs> so the product description says that it is a nutritional serum that protects the skin from the outer environment by soothing the skin and enhancing the reinforcement of the skin barrier. It's formulated only with hand-picked green level highest quality ingredients and is suitable for sensitive skin. I really can't say much about my skin barrier. My skin barrier is fine. It's not damaged in any way, so I don't feel like this has helped to repair it or helps to maintain it. I feel like that's had no impact on me whatsoever. Um, the rest of it is a nutritional serum. Sure. It's got high quality ingredients. Sure. Um, suitable for sensitive skin. Sure. I don't have sensitive skin, so I cannot really, you know, talk about that. But is it nice to use? Yes. Is it moisturizing? Yes. Is it really good for summer for me? Yes. Will it be good in winter? Probably not. It's probably not going to be heavy enough for me to use in winter. But for summer, it has been my favorite. This product was sent to me for review by Yes Style as well, but this does not reflect my opinions on the product because I have another Yes Style product in the flops. In the meh category we have two products from Cosi Rex and they're both from the same line and they both came in the same package which is kind of annoying but you do what you can do. The first one is the Low pH PHA Barrier Mist by Cosi Rex. So the product description for this one says Low pH PHA Barrier Mist mainly helps your skin maintaining low pH level. It works as a shield keeping prior skincare steps from evaporating and making your face feel moisturized. The main problem I have with this one is that the packaging while it is absolutely gorgeous the mist only sprays out like the faintest whisper of a mist. I have to get it so close to my face to actually feel like I'm getting any product on the skin. Considering this is supposed to create a shield, I kind of feel like I want to feel the product actually hitting my face. While I feel like the product probably is 
that's all right. It's not damaging my skin, but it's really not doing anything special, and it's not a product that I would repurchase for that very reason. It's supposed to be creating a barrier or a shield, keeping the price skincare from evaporating and keeping my face feeling moisturized, but I really don't feel like it does that at all. I feel like it's just a, an extra fluff step spraying my face because it looks fun and it looks cool. I don't really feel like there's any effects from this. It's not a flop because it's not having any negative effects, but it's also not really that great. The other product is the PHA Moisture Renewal Power Cream. This one is a meh because I just don't feel like it does very much at all and I don't like the finish on my skin. So this one has a really nice pot, it does come in the regular Cosrx pot, and the product inside is a nice medium moisturizer. It does smell pretty bad, it just smells generally like that acidic sort of um, like acid smell basically. So if you're used to using acids in your skincare routine, it smells like that. It's fairly easy to apply. I basically just rub some on my face, avoiding my eyes. The instructions don't say to avoid your eyes, but considering it has a PHA, which is an acid, I feel like that's probably a good thing to do. The instructions are very minimal. It doesn't tell you if you should use this every night. It doesn't tell you if you can use it in the morning, because a lot of the time you shouldn't use acids in the morning if you're not going to be protecting your skin with a really good SPF afterwards. It doesn't say anything like that. It just kind of glosses over the fact that it's got a PHA in it entirely. So I really wonder at what percentage this PHA is, because if it was a higher percent, they would definitely need to put a warning on it. So it must be a very low percent. The thing that makes this the most meh product for me is that it feels very heavy on my skin and it feels very sticky. It doesn't absorb quickly and I find that most problematic for my hands. I find that after I apply this product, I have to go and wash my hands afterwards. I just cannot go on with life with having this on my hands because it's sticky and I cannot get rid of it by rubbing it on the backs of my hands, which is what I would normally do with any other moisturizer. Waste not, want not, the backs of my hands need some love too to keep them nice and baby soft. But this one, it just doesn't, doesn't work like that. It sticks to the palms of my hands and my fingers and it, either I have to do nothing with my hands for a good five to 10 minutes or I need to go wash them. And I'm not gonna sit there with my hands going and doing nothing, like that is the most boring thing in the world. So I'll go wash my hands. But it's just like, I've never come across a cream that I have to do that with. It's kind of annoying and that's why it is in the meh pile. It does moisturize my skin, but nothing special. And then we have the flops pile. I have two products in this one. The first is the Isentreat Hyaluronic Acid Toner. Now this was recommended by a subscriber for me to try because I do love myself a good hyaluronic acid toner. I feel like hyaluronic acid generally works really, really well for my skin. I love the inclusion of it in other ingredients. And previously I have loved the Haru Labo Gokujin Hyaluronic Acid Toner in the gold bottle. I think my one is the premium one. And oh, that gave me some beautiful, glowy, glossy, like full of feeling skin. It just felt so good. However, this one is the complete opposite. It makes my skin feel drier than it was before. So there's no point in using it if it's making your skin feel, in, feel drier. I had talked about this previously and one of the commenters pointed out that it could be the molecular weight of the hyaluronic acid and that's totally true. I am not a cosmetic chemist, I don't know the molecular weight and I don't know very much about that side of things but I can tell you that this kind of hyaluronic acid or at least this percentage maybe of hyaluronic acid because this is 50% hyaluronic acid, it doesn't work well with my skin. It doesn't mean that it won't work well with yours because this is a holy grail for so many people out there. It's just not a holy grail for me. My final flop for the day is the Light Fit Real Water Toner to Cream by Cosrx. Now, like I said with the green one, which was a favorite, um, that one was sent to me for review by YesStyle, and this one was also sent to me for review by YesStyle. They did not ask for a positive opinion on either of them. I liked the green serum, and I didn't like this one. <laughs> and that is totally okay. It is personal preference. Everybody's skin type is different, and I don't know if I can say that any more than I already have. So the Light Fit Real Water Toner to Cream actually should be a cream to toner or cream to water because it starts off as a thick silicone looking cream and then when you spread it out it turns into a watery finish. The bottle of this is kind of hilarious, it looks like um, a shaving cream basically, like is that not exactly what your shaving creams used to look like? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it is a little bit big and bulky and it is only 130 mils. so if you compare it to the Essentry Toner which is 200 mils. It's like bigger, packaging wise, for less. 
So my main issue with the Cosyrex cream and why it is a flop for me is the amount of silicones in it. So there are three types of silicones, two of which are just designed to help the product evaporate off your skin, but then there is also dimethicone, which is more of an occlusive agent. So if you're using it as a toner, one could argue that the occlusive agent in that is going to stop some of your other ingredients from penetrating your skin. That is not necessarily true, and like I said, already I think I'm not a cosmetic chemist or a scientist so I feel like the silicone texture of the toner slash cream doesn't really work that well for my skin because it gives me the illusion that my skin feels really nice and soft but it's actually the silicone same with if you were using a silicone primer it makes your skin feel really nice and soft but is it actually doing anything Probably not. This also includes an ingredient which I think is bergamot oil, I'll have to like write it down here if it's not, um, which is a photosensitizing photosensis ingredient. Like, why was it so hard to say? It makes your skin more susceptible to being sunburned and nowhere on this bottle do they say that this should be used in conjunction with a sunscreen. Now not everybody is going to get sunburned by using a small amount of the oil in this product, it's not what I'm saying at all, but it's a little bit... A little bit negligent, I guess, of Cosrx to put a photo sensitizing ingredient in a cream without mentioning that this should be used in conjunction with a sunscreen. For a lot of people they don't use a sunscreen every day and if they use this and their skin is sensitive already then they may end up with a sunburn and that's not responsible. For me personally, ingredients list aside, I found that this didn't work really well as a toner because it gave my skin the illusion that it was moisturized but it actually wasn't and it didn't work well as a cream because again it gave my skin the illusion that it was like moisturized and nice but it actually wasn't, so I would either go through the day and then have really dry skin at the end of the day, or sleep through the night, wake up and have really dry skin in the morning, and there's really no point in using it if it doesn't work. So that is why this Cosyrex product is a flop for me. So those were my new skincare favorites and flops. Tell me what you think of this video. Do you like how everything is shown? Do you like the idea of introducing the new skincare like this? Leave some nice, constructive, and nice comments down below. Remember that constructive criticism is a gift, but criticism without any constructiveness is just going to get you blocked. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!